Hi, this is your host, Swapnil Bharti, and welcome to TFR Insights, a show where we deep dive into cloud native technologies. And today we have with us Carol Wilder, Vice President of Product at Puppet. Carol, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. And also congratulations on your promotion. Uh, if I'm not wrong, you specialize in, in, especially, you know, from your Amazon days in creating platforms. And if I'm not wrong, you also say that you want to make Puppet the Alexa of infrastructure. So I want to uh, quickly go in your own background as well so that you make bold statements like that. So talk about yourself first. When I looked at Puppet and I was you know, pondering coming to Puppet, I understood Puppet Enterprise, but I also understood that it had to be built on uh, layers and layers of capabilities that had been battle tested over the years. And and when I looked at it, I, I equated it to the Alexa system, where Alexa was built on a bunch of capabilities that, you know, came to fruition through Echo, which was the device. Um, and when you look at platforms and you're able to break things up in a modular way, you're much more readily able to recombine those capabilities to quickly solve or approach different problems. And for the first year at Alexa um, in Echo, it was really about you know broadening the domains of what they were what we were addressing. So it started off with music and went to news and weather and travel and you know and then with the skill set you know the skills we broadened it even more. And we created Alexa voice services um, in order to put Alexa on all sorts of different uh, devices. Okay, and that was at the beginning in the summer of 2015. Um, and I looked at Puppet and I'm like, look, you've got Puppet Enterprise, which is a Swiss army knife, but it's built on a bunch of modular, which we've made, we're making into or have made into microservices based upon Kubernetes. Um, and as we move forward, we can recombine those in order to quickly address the infrastructure problems that are happening today, which the time from identification of an opportunity or a pain point or a need to the time when someone needs something is very, very short. So if you can recombine them very, very quickly and have a common UI, then you're able to address those problems of our customers in the market in general. Puppet is kind of... Uh approaching it uh, as a platform. Uh, in the cloud native world, if we look at CNCF landscape, there are so many log logos, there are so many projects, especially if you look at Kubernetes, things get very complex very quickly. Uh, so there are two ways of looking at things. One is that customers, users can pick and choose whatever projects, product they want. It's flexible, but when you look at platform approach, you simplify things for them, but it also becomes kind of opinionated, uh, which may or may not leave room for them to integrate the tools they want. So can you kind of uh, explain the contrast between you know, a platform, building a platform which does make things easier for you versus keeping something which is flexible, but overly complicated and complex? Well, so I look at go back to the customer. I think within the IT infrastructure world right now, and this is what I'm finding talking to our customers, there's super users that want every single machination that they have, and they're able to do that. And then you have either you're sharing content or you have, you know, teams or team members that really want the simple and easy. And I think that we can do both. We are doing both. Um, and we have the infrastructure as a code, which is our goal, which has been, you know, sort of our calling card. But then we have um, a bunch of slate of suites of services that we're working on to share content or be able to share plans, tasks, projects um, across to other teams. And I think that's one key factor um, in, in really trying to, once you've created infrastructure as code, or you've created a task, or you've created automation, that how do you share it across? Or how do you, you know, start people on that journey? Um, when I think about cloud native, I always go back to, you know, everyone's making a big deal about cloud native. Cloud native is a how you do something. It's really not a product unto itself. It's really allowing you to create modularity for customers that they can use it and they can plug and play. And then they also can play with the individual factors within it. But you're right that Kubernetes is really, really difficult to understand. Um, and the more that we can make it easier for customers to use, which we're starting to build on 
and deliver on what's called replicated. We've used that as our Kubernetes base um, and we're delivering, we've delivered three products on, Kuber, on, on replicated on Kubernetes right now. Um, and we're gonna do more and more of that. Um, and I think that will make it much easier for customers to uh, be able to install, to upgrade, and then to deploy um, Puppet, pro Puppet products um, as we move forward. And I think it will just get it to the more easy button. Um, if you go back 10 years, and then you know, I'll wrap up, but when you go back 10 years, it was all about you know the DevOps and creating things that were, and you had time to create these things for on-prem. You don't have time anymore. You got to go um, because the pace of e-commerce, the pace of banking, the pace of all of these different things, even the you know the the regulated industries like electricity, they have to go pivot on a moment's notice, and we have to be there with our customers. Right, and there are a couple of other things happening. Number one is today uh, every company has to be a software company. You cannot survive in today's world if you if you don't have a software strategy and. Software alone is not. You have to have a cloud strategy, cloud native digital strategy as well. Which kind of when you look at the when we you you are absolutely right. Cloud native is more or less like how you do things, but we like labels, right? In this world, we try to put labels on everything else, but it also simplifies things that you can look at it easily. The challenge is that as these companies do embark on their digital transformation or cloud native journey, there is just way much too code to look at. That's why low code kind of becomes, or no code becomes popular. And the serious topic is security. If you do not understand how these things you are creating, I mean, vulnerabilities, bugs are there, but one of the biggest problem is misconfiguration, you know, where you're not, you know, mis and then you have so many knobs to turn. Yes, something will go wrong, you know, human error will take over. So at the same time, I also look at developers as kind of artists, right? You should not spend time in picking the right brush. You should spend, I mean, no artist has spent a whole day in picking the right brush, right? They, they draw things. So why should developers spend all of their time in things that don't add any value to the business application? So there's, so let's talk about all these things and then look at platform from that perspective that it's not that Puppet is just trying to build a platform for the sake of building a platform, but there are some genuine problems that we are trying to solve here. So, so the interesting thing that I found is we have one customer and they're going to the cloud and what they ended up figuring out is the principles of automation and, and security, reliability, stability, um, you know, compliance, all of those issues, they don't change if you go from on-prem to cloud. Those things, those, those first principles are still there. Um, and what I've found is that as you move forward, you're going to have to have um, a company, and I think Puppet is that company, that has your best interests in mind in, in some of the very basic principles of security compliance, um, of provisioning and, and things like that. And we will work with anybody and feed that, you know, we'll work alongside um, where companies consider, you know, their competitors. We will work with HashiCorp, we will work with Ansible. There's no problem. We're looking at what is the customer first, what is the pain point, and how can we solve that and build around what those solutions are. So for instance, cloud compliance has come up as a major issue. We are looking at building around that cloud compliance for our customers. We have a comply product, which is an on-prem. We are you know, shoring that product up so that that becomes a suite of of not just, hey, what are my compliance or what are my vulnerabilities, but what do I want to do about that? So it's not just the monitor, it's the act. And I think whether you're in a cloud native world or whether you're in an on-prem world, whether you're in a VM world, these things don't change. You still need to have them. And so we're very much leaning in on what are the basics of automation? What are the basics of how people need to run their data centers and their application develop, development, or sorry, the application deployment and that is the really the most important thing. And how can we be there with them regardless of where they are? They can be on Azure, they can be on Google, they can be on AWS, it doesn't matter to us. 
we will go and work with whatever they are on and we will be able to provide services and products on on those platforms or with those platforms more or less share with us you know what kind of vision view you have in mind when you look at puppet's platform i look at the puppet platform as for example um you know uh when i look at it on the cloud compliance side um i look at it as us being able to go look at the individual elements as the application is deployed into the cloud and basically being able to measure all right is that in compliance with the original idea and if it's not then basically come back to the compliance team and help them understand okay this is how you have to fix it all right and it's it's very i know that sounds very basic but it is um well within you know the architecture of what we're building and we have some very basic elements that can can be able to do that um the question is how does the compliance team how does the cloud ops team and how do the on prem teams and how does the cio want that data presented to them and what is their needs in terms of that so that they can understand the risk that they're taking and they can understand exactly how this is being fixed um versus you know sort of letting things out in the wild and then not knowing where things are actually going um and that's the most important thing and understanding risk and that's how we will apply the puppet platform there are specific elements that we're working on so task automation eventing um and then obviously if we had to do any configuration uh you know management of that if that's if that's where where they are in their journey um when you look at customers who do cloud migration there are ones that just you know do a lift and shift there are ones that do a lift and platform replatforming generally the first thing they do is they replatform they they redo uh their storage and their databases and then they move on to compute so they will lift and shift with vms first and then they will move over to the cloud native so containers or serverless um as they move forward in their journey and we have a couple of customers that are doing that right now and we are advising them look go use terraform that's no problem we will work with terraform and we can help you to understand you know how you're going to make this journey and we will make it easier with you um not you know and we're perfectly happy to do that um and eventually it's an api driven world and we will be working at that level you have puppet enterprise you have puppet immediate you have puppet connect you have puppet comply i want to specifically talk about uh puppet enterprise platform so pe you know when you really look at it 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 it's obviously the flagship product pe is a swiss army knife that solves a huge amount of problems okay for customers um it's configuration management it's um you know reporting of data we have puppet database which is a huge uh you know all the data that flows in in terms of the nodes and and the infrastructure flows into puppet database um there's different elements that that it solves it solves config management it solves um teams working together it solves um the on prem and the the vm world so long lived infrastructure uh problems that that automation teams have um and that's you know that's been our flagship product for a long time um but it broken down in the elements we have um a bunch of visualizations for their own data we have uh you know a lot of different elements that go and translate very well into the more maybe modern or the hybrid estate world um where we can go apply them and different teams would value those those features that we have within puppet enterprise so i think it's really as a whole it's taken as a swiss army knife with many many tools but broken down when you look at it it has um a bunch of elements that uh can be applied to more modern problems as well uh carol thank you so much for uh not only talking about uh, the approach puppet is taking uh, the platform approach but also we even deeper into the bigger problem that the cloud native uh was <laughs> again you are right cloud native is not a place it's not a thing it's a process you know it's how we do things but uh as companies are embarking on their cloud native journey the challenges they face and how the platform approach is going to tackle some of those challenges 
challenges. So thank you for uh, explaining those. And I look forward to talk to you again. And once again, congratulations on your uh, promotion there. Uh, I look forward to talk to you more.